let's see if we can find 10 ways to piss off a designer. To get them in the right mood, start off by asking them to work for free. However, if they do say no, and they want to get paid, start haggling, because you'll have more work coming up in the future. I mean, this is what we do in everyday life, right? Number two, you'll have to give them a briefing. Tell them you want your designs to look like Apple. This is actually setting up the bait for trick number eight, so keep watching. When you're discussing the deadline, use words such as as soon as possible or yesterday since you're a funny guy. After all, your past experiences have taught you it can be done in two minutes anyways. Number three, before they can start working, you must send them some attachments. Send your images and logo using Microsoft Office programs. The older the version, the better the impact. Hey, you do get some bonus points if you forget the attachments every once in a while. Number four, you might want to get involved in the creative process and take pictures or videos with your phone. When you do this, there's three important things to keep in mind. First, the less pixels, the better it is. Secondly, have a slightly off framing. And lastly, don't you dare to worry about the sound quality. Phones these days can handle it. Number five, ask them to make your logo a tiny bit bigger. You do want people to know who you are, don't you? Just make sure to download the logo from your website as it looks perfect on there. Just embed it in a Word document and they'll do their magic in Photoshop. Number six, when you provide feedback, be as vague as possible. Say things like, can you make it pop or it lacks the wow effect. And then let them come up with alternatives because you'll know it when you see it. Might be a good idea to give them a quick call. Just tell them you're about to send them an email. Team effort always does a trick, we all know that. So get as many opinions as you can. Don't be afraid to involve your seven-year-old niece, because you do want to target the younger generation as well. Number eight. Remember you briefed for Apple design? Well, graphic designers tend to love this thing called white space. What a waste of space. Ask them to fill it up, and preferably with details and technical information I mean, you're not paying for emptiness, are you? <sighs> they get so lazy. Number nine. Do you realize how fast the design can become boring? Don't let this happen to your work. Make sure to use as many fonts as you can. Bonus points if you get the legendary Comic Sans in there. And by now you've probably reached the point that the he or she no longer cares. The perfect time to add the colors and gradients you've always dreamed of. Nobody likes that black anyways. Number 10. Since you're aiming for a full mental breakdown, tell them in the final feedback round that you're slightly disappointed in the level of creativity and ask for something totally different. You're setting up for the grand finale here. As soon as you get the alternative design, finish them off by saying you actually prefer the first version. How do you piss off your designer friends? Let me know down in the comments below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.